Hello, my name is Samantha Weintraub and I am a research scientist at the National Ecological Observatory Network, or NEON. I'm here to talk to you about my career at a federally funded research facility. I'll start by giving you a little background about me and my education and professional path. I have a Bachelor of Science in Conservation and Natural Resources from the University of California, Berkeley. I will say that when I started out in my undergraduate career path, I was not certain I wanted to be a scientist. I took a lot of broad courses in the humanities and political science and development. And so I had um, a bit of a wandering path towards science, but once I decided that I did, that environmental science was my passion and this was the direction I wanted to go, I made sure to get into research as soon as I could. And I did an undergraduate honors thesis that had a, a research, independent research component. And I think that was a good choice and helped me get a technician position after undergraduate, which eventually led to a PhD, which led into a postdoc, which uh, led me to my job with NEON, which I've had since 2016. Along the way, I have gained a lot of different experiences in various facets of ecology and environmental science, from designing all kinds of experiments at different scales, um, managing samples, managing sensors and instruments. I have a lot of experience in the lab, working with various kinds of instruments. Um, and I think especially importantly, I got experience with R. I learned how to code and I learned how to manage data and do statistics and visualization in a traceable and reproducible way using code. And I think especially that last thing really does help set you apart in this era of big data that we are all living in. And so having all those other skills, but paired with strong data science and quantitative and coding skills, um, I think really does help set you at, up for success in your ecology career. So I'll tell you a little bit about NEON, just so then I can explain uh, what I do and what I like about what I do. So we collect long-term standardized data to inform drivers of and responses to ecological change. Uh, we are an NSF-funded research facility. We archive samples and specimens, and we provide a platform for research and experiments. We are a continentally distributed network with 81 field sites covering all major biomes of the United States. Uh, 47 of those sites are terrestrial, and I work on the terrestrial team at NEON overseeing the biogeochemistry data collection protocols and methods. Uh, we produce 181 data products in total, and they cover very broad spatiotemporal scales. And NEON data are free and publicly available. They can be accessed via our data portal or an API or automated programming interface. And we work to develop tools in R to make data download easy. All right, so what do, what do I like about my job? It's very much team science and mission oriented. I believe in what we're doing. I'm excited about producing these data products that can inform a wide variety of questions in continental scale ecology. And I do fundamentally hope that we can make a contribution toward sustainable land management and sustainable um, natural resources and conservation through our work. And so that is certainly what is ultimately driving me and exciting me about my job. I do get to do a wide variety of tasks from designing data collection protocols to developing data quality scripts. Uh, I get to work with people across disciplines and institution types from small liberal arts colleges up through the big research institutions, lots of people at other government and federal and state agencies, um, even some people in the private sector. So uh, a lot of exciting opportunities to um, grow your network. I get to travel to field sites when we are doing things like prototyping new protocols or maybe auditing some of our current protocols. And then I do have the opportunity to work on research if I secure grant funding. So then of course, there is a flip side to all of these things that uh, would be important things to consider when you're thinking about your career. So I don't have as much freedom to decide what I wanna work on. Um, I think this is relative. Um, Probably not as much freedom as a professor, but probably more freedom than some other people. So it's uh, probably somewhere in the middle of the spectrum in terms of autonomy of how you spend your day and how you spend your time. Um, not all the tasks that I have to do are as exciting as others. As I said, we're a mission-oriented agency. 
I've got certain work to do and I've got to get it done. And some parts of my job I really like and others less much, but um, it's all up to me to deliver uh, the tasks that I have to do. I don't get a chance to have as much interaction with students, so there's less opportunity to teach and mentor. There is some. We do have interns, and I do get to interact with grad students and postdocs using me on data, but certainly less than if you had a position um, at a university, let's say. Um, it is mostly a desk job, so while I get sporadic trips to the field, those really are fairly few and far between, and I think this is something that everyone deals with, or most everyone deals with, as you rise um, on the career ladder through your job as an ecologist or an environmental science, you end up spending less time in the fields and more time at the computer. Um, and it is unfortunate, but I think it is uh, probably very common. And lastly, I don't get that much time to work on my research if I don't get my own grants. Um, and so it's more about that mission-oriented data collection and producing the data products and less time asking and answering sirens questions if I don't bring in my own grant funding, which luckily I, I have been able to do some of in the last couple of years. So that's been good for me, but just something uh, to consider. So if this kind of career track is something that's exciting to you, I had a few piece of it, pieces of advice to leave you with. Um, one is to try to get a wide diversity of skills from conducting field experiments to having some good skills in the lab. And then as I mentioned earlier, I think especially make sure to focus on those quantitative and data science skills. I think paired with broad um, other experiences in ecology, this can really set you apart and is what a lot of employers are looking for nowadays, those coding and data science skills. Um, at the same time as you want to have a wide diversity of skills, do try to become an expert in something, and ideally something you really like. For me, um, I did that by choosing to do a postdoc that was grounded in stable isotope ecology, and I, I did get really into the weeds from the lab work and the detailed work with mass spectrometers all the way through the data reduction and data management and to the science questions, and so that was something that I could bring to NEON and I think is generally you know, appreciated as I can be a go-to person for stable isotopes in our org. So something like that, where you really carve a niche for yourself and make it known that you are an expert in something, and that's something you can really bring to and contribute to um, your career. Also, find good mentors. It's hard to, to know ahead of the time when you're uh, choosing an advisor for, uh, for a position, but I think having good mentors, having people that really believe in you and are willing to work with you and cultivate skills and experiences and, and help you grow your network, all that's really important. So, you know, keep that in mind and, and do what you can to find out what kind of mentor someone is. And then be an active participant in making a good mentoring relationship. And there's lots of ways you can do that. Um, I mean, lastly, I think you can't make that perfect federal job appear. Unfortunately, there's some degree of just patience and waiting for that job to open up and kind of being in the right place. Um, but you can certainly work to be ready for when it does. So I think developing a rich background and skill set, um, taking into account some of the other things I've said above, so making sure that you are really prepared when that perfect job opens up, uh, where your skills and expertise are really going to shine, you are ready to pounce and you have that resume that clearly demonstrates you are the one for that job. So get that preparation, be ready. And then, you know, just wait for those opportunities to come and, and capitalize on them when they do. So good luck to everyone out there. If you have any more questions about this or what it's like to work at Neon or anything else, feel free to give me an email shout. Thanks.